Okay, so let's have a look at the basic technique. Okay, this is a one string exercise and I'm using my right hand to tap the high notes, my left hand to tap and pull off the low notes. I'm gonna slow this first riff right down so for the beginners out there you can see exactly what I'm doing with this, okay? Now let's have a look. What we've got is instead of strumming the guitar, the index finger of my right hand is gonna push the note that I wanna play. In this case, it's a B. We're on the high E string at the seventh fret. So instead of strumming, I tap like that, okay? Tap. Now, the first, the index finger of my left hand is gonna be at the fourth fret on the E string, okay? Playing a G sharp, right? So when I tap, I push away from the guitar and that strums the second note. So we tap and push and that forms the second note. The last part of the exercise is my first finger of my left hand that's playing G sharp then pulls off the fretboard so that the open E string sounds out. Let's have a look at that slowly and together as one phrase. We tap, push and pull off. Tap, push, and pull off. Okay, and that gives you your first part of this exercise. You'll notice in the exercise that I played it four times, and then I move up a fret. So all we do there is, is exactly the same thing as I just explained, except now you are at the eighth and fifth fret, rather than the seventh and fourth fret. Let me slowly put this together for you. Okay, now a couple of quick pointers on keeping the guitar as quiet as possible. You'll notice that my right hand, when it's tapping, is not out here like this. Straight away, you can hear a lot more background noise on the guitar. When I tap with my right hand, I'm cradling the neck so that my thumb is behind the neck and the rest of my fingers are kind of hanging around the guitar like so. That means if something does go wrong and I get a little bit of noise, I can push my palm and my hand down and stop other strings from ringing out. There are other ways to dampen the neck of your guitar, but I prefer to dampen the neck of the guitar with only my hands, because in a live situation, that's really what we're gonna be doing, okay? So keep in mind, dampening with your right hand, playing like that, okay? Don't play way out on the guitar like this. You'll get noise like that all the time, okay? Let's have a look at this one at speed. See how you go with that one and we'll move on to something else.